Welcome to the Volfix channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about what a delta is and what types of deltas there are. Let's mention that this video is made for informational purposes only. So, each bar on the chart has a volume of trades made. This volume consists of sell and buy trades. In particular, on a double cluster chart, you can set up the display of the volume of sell and buy separately. Delta is the difference between the volume of bid and ask trades. Thus, the delta at this price will be equal to the difference between 491 and 773. And is equal to minus 282. That is, sales prevailed at this price. The delta on the vertical histogram shows the balance of power for each bar. In this case, for every 5 minutes. We see the traded volume and the delta. In other words, the difference between the total volume of buys and sells for every 5 minutes. Thus, the delta consists of the buy volume and the sell volume. It shows which side prevails in the market at any given moment. In each trade there are two participants, a buyer and a seller. Delta allows you to understand the balance of buyers and sellers at a particular moment in time. There are two types of delta, delta aggressor and delta tick direct. Delta aggressor shows the difference between the volume of trades initiated by buyers, aggressors, and the volume of trades initiated by sellers, it aggressors. Aggressor is the side that initiated the trade. Data on the side of the trade comes from the exchange. Trade initiator is usually a market order, but not always. It can also be a limit order. You can set the delta type in the menu setup delta type. Delta aggressor shows which side is more active making trades and is an indicator of market pressure. Delta tick direct calculates the delta based on the direction of each tick. If the price of the current tick is higher than the previous one, the whole delta will be positive. And vice versa. A tick is each price change. For example, in a 5 minute bar, there were 10 up ticks of one contract each and 5 down ticks. Also of one contract. In this case, delta tick direct would equal 5, while delta aggressor counts come from the initiator side of the trade. And the information about the initiator side comes from the exchange. Let's open time and sales and see by example how often the side of the trade by aggressor and by tick direct can differ. Let's pause time and sales. We can see that there are often situations when the side of a trade on tick direct is buy and on aggressor, sell. For example, in this case, after the trade at the price of 5,439 a down tick followed, and the side of every trade at this price is sell. Why? Because the direction of the tick is down. So all trades at this price are counted as sells. But at a certain moment, there are trades with the side of trades on the aggressor to buy. And if we look at the bid ask size column, this is the size of bids and asks of the first line of the market depth. We will notice that the seller kicks out all the bids and thus, the price moves one tick lower, where the aggressor buyer already appears. While buy tick direct is selling, in fact, the buyer comes into play and starts knocking out all the asks, all the orders to sell. And later, also moves the price, but buy one tick up. On this example, we can understand the difference between delta tick direct and delta aggressor. If we imagine that it is one 5 minute bar or one minute bar, then all this volume that we see by tick direct will be for sell. And all the delta will be negative. While the delta by the aggressor will take into account the aggressive buyers, those who initiated the trades. This is the difference between the tick direct delta and the aggressor delta. In other words, the aggressor delta is more accurate at the micro level. Then, based on own understanding of the difference between the two types of delta and the current time frame, the trader chooses which type of delta is better to use. That's all for now. If you still have questions, please contact our technical support using the contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.